Well, hello everyone. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome to the Strife stream. I hope, uh, I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is well indeed. <clears throat> How, pray tell, was your week? Mine was alright. It was pretty decent. <clears throat> Greetings, Eli, Zauchin, Basilis, Storm Mage. How are you all doing? Also, uh, Zauchin, thank you so much for the resubscribing. Uh, 47 months. It's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money, and it is great to have you along for the ride. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. An acceptable week. Existent. Those are both words. Taxes. My week was taxes. Oh, jeez. I still haven't done mine. I still have not done my taxes, uh, which is not great. Not great at all. I need to get on that. Also, can you believe it? I think we're one week. Yeah, we are, we are one week away from daylight savings time. Duh. One of the things that I hate the most. Still packing for the move tomorrow. Hey, lying, I wish you the absolute best of luck in regards to that move. That is no small thing to actually have to get done. Your taxes are done? Well, Storm Mage, congratulations to you and the fact that you're ahead of the curve. Oh boy. February's over, it's March, and the deadline is in April. I, I really need to get on it. Ugh, why? What is this nonsense of daylight savings? Yep, it's happening. It's happening. Happens in one more week. Not exactly fun. Ugh. I've been hearing all sorts of, like, horror stories from people about their taxes this year because, like, withholding changed for a bunch of people or whatever. Ugh. Nothing like having to do my taxes for no good reason. Oh, I forgot that this is where I left myself. We are playing more Minecraft today. Holy moly. Tev is sending me snarky images. Why can't America be normal? Because America is capitalist, all right? And that's just, you're, you're just gonna have to deal with that. All right, Eli? Crafting the mines and mining the crafts. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's the whole story. Middle of night out here. Oh, it's such a beautiful edifice. You know, I haven't looked out across the landscape from the uh, top of the tower in a long time. What do we got here? Uh, roof. Roof from a scroof. Kind of hard to see through the bars, not gonna lie. I thought Rebirth came out. Yes, it did, but I have not finished my replay of, uh, the, uh, of Remake. And more specifically, um, I have not at all played the interlude. Uh... Story? Quest? I, I don't know what to call it. So, basically, I'm still working through my second uh, playthrough of, uh, of Remake. Um, that is slower going than I expected it to be. Don't worry, I'll get there. It's just a matter of time before I finish it. Uh, my intention is to try and get it done this week, uh, if I am at all successful. The bars are a nice aesthetic choice, but bad look uh, bad for overlooking your domain. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong about that. Here's the deal, chat. Um, whenever I start the day, like during the week, what I do is I, I get my coffee and like a bagel or something. And I start my day by just eating a bagel, having some coffee, and listening to the news. And that lasts about a half hour to start my day. But during it, you know, it's like I'm not eating 
my bagel the entire time. I'm not drinking coffee the whole time. So... What I've been filling, uh, I, I, I have to keep my hands busy somehow, and I can't really do any work in that time. So, what I've been up to here is collecting up additional basalt to replace what I blasted through whenever I last streamed this. FF7 Remake, Rebirth, and Reborn. The Holy FF7 Trinity. Yes! Yes, and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to Rebirth, uh... But first, I need to I need to finish remake and uh, and the interlude DLC because they never published the interlude DLC on uh, P uh, uh, PS4. Yeah, they ne they never published the interlude DLC for PS4. They put it on the PS5 and they were like, hey, you should totally buy a PS5 so that you can play the interlude DLC. It's free if you bought the like you get the PS5 up five upgrade of these games. For free, if if you you know get a if you get a PS5 and you plug your PS4 disc into it, and then like they were like, oh by the way, that's for a limited Ooh time la only. La. Oh my, Cooler Man Nacho just resubscribed. Seventy five months. That's a long time. Thank you very much. It's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money. Great to have you along for the ride. <clears throat> Hello, William. I found this good uh, pita bar, so I have two lamp pitas with red cabbage and garlic mayo with a side of thick. French fries. Oh, man. Those are good. Tev is messaging me snarky mugs on the side, and I'm, I'm, I'm very distracted because the, the, the images keep changing. But, of course, like, they're, they're, they're offered to, like, upgrade you to version, to the PlayStation 5 version of FF7 was a limited time only. They're not just going to give you, you know, the, the the interlude DLC right off the bat. Like, you got to buy it if it's not within the window or whatever. So, you know, it took me forever to find a PS5 because they were, abs they were absurdly difficult to get your hands on for the longest time. And uh, that meant that I uh, I utterly missed out on the, the dead window, essentially, to play... Uh, the, the interlude DLC normally. So that's that's basically what I'm trying to do. And whenever I, I like I, I launched it because I bought it off of uh, Steam for you know cheap during the Christmas sales. And um, when I launched it, I was like, okay, I could just play the interlude DLC. And they immediately warn you. It's like, hey, we do not explain the battle system. So uh, no, you you need to know what you're doing here. And I was just like. Ugh. God damn it. All right, fine. Fine, I'll play through the base game again. So that's what I've been doing. And it's interesting to play through the base game of FF7 Remake again, because, you know, like, the first time that I did it, it was for, uh, it was for stream. And when you're streaming, you're not really being super, like, mindful of what you're watching, because you're trying to entertain while at the same time consuming entertainment. It's not the same thing, you know? So, like, I'm playing through it this second time here, and I'm like, uh, you know, there's there's stuff happening here that, like, makes blatant sense to me. But I it just kind of went right over my head because I was focused on it, trying to, you know, be entertaining while I'm streaming. So. Greetings, Cortex. Hello, Cortex. Did you enjoy your sub to William? <laughs> Xbox adds backwards compatibility forever. Square Enix. Limited time next-gen upgrades, so buy a new console even though we weren't uh, owned by Sony. I mean, <sighs> I don't even know that it's technically a next-gen upgrade. I think the interlude DLC was just some... Like, I think that's the only thing that was really offered. That being said, like... You're... Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, because, like, you can still plug the PS4 game into the PS5 and it'll work. Like, they, I, can, I can plug my Bloodborne disc into my PS5 and it'll work no problem. It's, it's not a situation of not having backwards compatibility. It's a situation of getting something extra without having to pay for it. So... 
Like, interlude is something that's completely new and extra. And... You know... They, for whatever reason, decided that it didn't deserve to be put on the PS4. Maybe it's more of a technical issue. I don't know. I'm not a freaking game designer! Cortex, do you like a lamp, PETA? A lamp, PETA. God. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm just trying to finish filling my inventory because I gotta go back to spawn for uh, for what I'm getting up to today. So I may as well have all of the uh, the mining that I intended to get done out here finished. Like, there's gonna be a lot of mining that needs to get done ultimately, you know? Like, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be coming back here for- for a long while, just chunking out this entire area, getting the basalt removed, etc. Oh, wee. Excuse me. Alright, this thing in the middle has gotta go. It's time- it's time to take this out. down does this go? Goes a ways. What the? The hell is this? I remember none of this. Not a game designer, but, uh, but you are a capitalist. How's your back, Will? It is, it is getting better. I, I am having more good days than bad days at this point. Um, and that margin continues to grow, you know? So... How the hell did I get down here? I, I, I don't see the way out. <laughs> did I miss something? Hello? Where, where, where's the exit? Ah, here we go. Just came down here to pick up the leftover bits and pieces that I dropped in the process of mining that little island out. Ah. Didn't mean to get lost. Okay. Here we go. I is communist. <laughs> Secret tunnel! Yes, yes. Sometimes referred to as uh, the VIP treatment down at the club. Anyways, um... <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Uh, just when I think that I'm, like, actually getting close, I open my inventory and I realize I'm much further away from whatever it is that I'm after than I thought.
Got a couple of days of relief, and now all of a sudden my uh, my eyes are itching and my nose is is wriggling again. It's a fantastic time. Oh we. Also, I really pushed it on uh, on on Monday's stream. I came through. I finished the uh, the train tunnel, which was good. That was my intention. I needed the train tunnel finished quite badly. We are coughing and sneezing from all the dust being uh, from uh, kicked up by packing. Yeah, like, are you are are you the type that like you you feel that you're living in a relatively clean place, but then like you start moving things around and you realize how much dust has actually settled wherever it is that you like store your Christmas decorations or whatever. Because that's the type of people, uh, that, that's that's the type of person I am. It's like, I feel like I'm doing a good job of keeping the my place clean, and then I start moving stuff around. And then I'm like, oh, oh no, I'm not doing a good job. There is so much dust and filth around here. And I'm not just talking about me. Um, <clears throat> Uh-oh. Cool. Inventory full. Let's get out of here. I mean, how many of us regularly sweep? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Not me at all. We're the type uh, that is too disabled to clean regularly or reliably, and we've had stuff in boxes for the last five years because this place is an abandoned, an abandoned rev renovation project. God, I've lived in those before. That's not fun. Oh, we. Man, I've got people, like, with the release of Rebirth, I'm I'm realizing that there are people who I had no clue were interested in Final Fantasy that are, like, mega Final Fantasy fans. Just, like, having that revelation of just, like, wait, you, you like Final Fantasy? I thought you were the type of person to just, like, never touch JRPGs. And, like it or not, that's what Final Fantasy will always be, even though the newer Final Fantasy games don't play like classic JRPGs. I don't know what I don't know what you think about a JRPG as being, but to me, having grown up in the 90s, it was specifically the turn-based battle system. That is what made a JRPG distinct. Um, do you like Final Fan Final Fantasy? <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Pejorative. I I I know that word. I don't remember its freaking definition or meaning. And it is awkward that I I don't have the capacity to uh, figure out what. I can't look it up right now. I'm busy running across a freaking highway in the Nether. I'll tell you what about the cleaning though. I gotta dig, like, now that my back is starting to feel better, I gotta dig my, um... <sighs> now that my back is starting to feel better, um, I've gotta dig out the vacuum. I gotta dig out the vacuum and do, uh, do a number on the stairs, because the stairs suck up so much dirt. If it's turn-based, I will assume it's a JRPG. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of the way that I worked for a long time. Nowadays, it's less of a turn-based, like, it's less of an, it's it's less expecting JRPGs to be turn-based, and it's more like, 
God, it's a collection of things now. So one of them is art style. Like I'll be able to stop. Uh, I'll be able to spot a JRPG on its art style instantaneously because it's just a very distinct type of art style that they have. Um, but if the art style isn't giving it away, then the other part of it is the voice acting. Okay, if it has been dubbed into English, I expect there to be a bunch of. <sighs> whenever so like someone breathing heavy whenever they you know walk five feet or something that is a jrpg to me at this point and like playing through ff7 again i'm just like oh oh god this is such a jrpg he walked five feet and he goes like he's <laughs> like like he's been running a marathon or something <sighs> Fallout New Vegas is a fantastic JRPG. <laughs> I always thought JRPG was just regular RPGs, but that all the females had big titties. <laughs> God! <laughs> Bold of you to assume that there are women in JRPGs. I know, my favorite JRPG, Grand Theft Auto 5, it didn't have any women in it. God. Oh. I can't even keep a straight face as I, as I, as I say that one. Um. Okay. Um. So this is the basalt chest. That's the blackstone chest. God. These freaking these freaking mug uh sa sassy mugs that that Kev keeps sending me just they keep getting more and more sassy. Oh ho, look at you Basilis redeeming say s word. <clears throat> well, all right then. Um Ah, uh, yes, the tunnel, which was completed last time. <clears throat> Am I wrong? Not necessarily. Here's the thing, I haven't played a freaking JRPG in so long. Like, Final Fantasy VII is a JRPG. Aerith doesn't exactly have the most ginormous chest ever. Can you share the sassy mugs? Um, I can I can read them to you because they're they're not worth really looking at. Uh, the first one, I'm yours, no refunds. The second one, you're stuck with me, and I think you like it. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. All my naughty thoughts involve me and you. <laughs> I'm the gift. I just got this mug to remind you of that. <laughs> I met you. I liked you. I loved you. I'm keeping you. I'll, al I'll always be by your side. And under you. And on top of you. <laughs> See what I mean? These are all very sassy mugs. <laughs> like, there's nothing sophisticated about their design. It's just text on a mug, you know? Alright, you, you redeemed show mug. Nothing like the 100% certified robo fucker. Wondrous. Okay, so, station, and now I can deposit the, uh, the basalt. I gotta, I gotta take a moment and get downstairs at some point, too. I just ran out of coffee. That's Blackstone. Here we go, basalt. Alright, 
that's not a crazy significant amount but it this is a this is a decent enough amount of basalt that any type of projects that i could have need for them they will be properly uh <gasps> oh excuse me fueled okay now that that's done we're just going to turn right back around and get back on the line and go back where i came from and work on the station at Midcrest. That's the next goal. Celerity Dust. I love I love your names. Celerity Dust. Would Tev play around with citrus mug print uh printer thing? I don't know. I I legitimately have no clue. Tales of Symphonia has one female character with big boobs. Tales of the Abyss has zero. Well then. Right, your S word. Your S word is, um... Skinny. Ugh. No explanations, just... That's your S word. Skinny. Celerity, oh my god, Celerity Dust. Yes, not cel Celerity Dust. God. I just, it it suddenly clicked. It was like, wait, I, I've i been here before. I've done this before. <laughs> celerity Dust. Still more entertaining to say Celery Dust, though. I'm just saying. Skinny? Like Aerith? Um... Sure, why not? <laughs> the, the mugs, they keep coming. I love you with all my butt. I would... I would have said I love... I would have said my heart, but my butt is bigger. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so we're back, and I need to figure out how to how to design these stations. Because here's the thing: <clears throat> um, each of these each of these uh, these platforms goes off in a separate direction. Okay, um, and what I want is to try and design letters to go on that back wall there. Okay, or maybe on this wall. You know, the inside wall of each station because you can clearly see it. But each station, each platform needs to be designed differently, okay? <clears throat> oh, Eli, what you bringing what you bringing the throne up for? Actually, come to think of it, didn't I didn't I add stuff to the throne? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did add a couple of things to the throne. Don't think any of those things will ever come. But, you know, it's an option. <clears throat> Golly. I have a lot of drainage today. I also need to figure out how the hell to, uh, to design... Science. Hmm. So the question becomes if each of these different platforms has a different design, what exactly do I do? Maybe I design all the platforms the same with slightly different motifs. Why am I not surprised by the delicious underwear? And hi, by the way. <laughs> Hello, Ignis. Wait, delicious? Oh, oh, yes, that is that is there. But um, I specifically selected that particular set because, like, that's that's one of those products where like every single different um, iteration of it has a wildly different print on it. I specifically selected that one because it says king size on it. It's the much smaller text. But it says delicious king size. 
That being said, the the nerf of this set is uh is fantastic. Of course, you could always go for the full troll and get the Thanos bodysuit. <laughs> What if they were all based around different biomes? I could do that, but part of me doesn't want to make the like part of a big part of me wants to make this entire station cohesive in its design, so it's all very similar. <clears throat> Have you guys been enjoying the pictures that are down there that that Eli just linked? So wait, is this? How do I know? Okay, yeah, this is the west line. This is actually the west line. Yeah, that it, it turn it it goes around the corner, but it is the west line. So, okay. Um, oh, they're marked. Okay, I already marked all of them. That's good. So this will go straight and then make a hard right. And come to think of it, if I open the um. The server map. There's basically nothing to the south. There is, there is utterly nothing to the south. The south is going to be a difficult route to, uh, to to get to anyway. So, of all the directions with the least amount of um, of of the four cardinal directions, uh, uh on the compass, the one with the least amount of construction done on it is the south direction. North has the most. North has three separate locations. Man. Okay, anyway. You know, between these two, I think that this one works way better, specifically because of the fact that it's thicker. Am I wrong about that, chat? Like, does that... Does that sound sensible to you? That it's like, yeah, this is thicker, so it works better. Is this single player? Yep, single player. Single player only. A 10-year-old server that I've been working on. You like the thicker one? Yes. Yes. I think the thicker one is the is the way to go. Thicker than a Snickers. Um, let me go ahead and take a nap here. Man, the drainage is messing with me today. Okay, where was I putting... I mean, I don't know that the mag... I don't think... I don't know that that's the right place to put magma cream amongst my storage. It... Ugh, God, it's been so long. Oh, that's where I've been putting my magma cream. Okay. We'll put... We'll put that right here. Oops. Wrong one again. I like the thicker one. Who doesn't? <laughs> okay, okay. So I was thinking maybe what I do is I specifically use quartz, okay? Maybe what I do is I use quartz. So we're going to take a single stack and we're, we're going to turn it into quarters. We're going to make... 16 pillars, 16 chiseled. We're going to make 16 brick. And we're, we're going to see if we can work out a design that uses quartz as the primary, like, highlighting motif. Is this vanilla? Yes, yes, this is vanilla. If you didn't know, this is like a 10-year-old server that I've been running. Um, mostly because backing up and saving a, a server is easier than backing up and saving a single player world. Like it is absolutely single player. I, I run it off of my own machine and then I just connect to it. Um, and the only reason I can do that is because I, I've always had a very beefy computer. Um, but this server is, is personal. I've been, you know, working on it. <laughs> If you, if you want the story, as Eli is clearly making an effort, um, you can type in exclamation tour. There is a video to tell you about, like, the history behind this server and show off a bunch of the stuff that I built. So. <clears throat> so, wait a minute. I've already done this stuff. What is, what is this? This is Deep Slate. Okay.
Is is it not working? All right, let me let me check. Let me check the commands. <laughs> let me check the commands. Don't tell me I've freaking forgotten the, uh, the commands. Um, T O U R. Yeah, T O U R should work. Nightbot might be getting overloaded because you got you guys are demanding so many commands out of him all at once. Um, have you ever tried playing without coordinates? I find it so much funnier, uh, funner. Well, I I don't have coordinates on. Like I don't I don't see coordinates anywhere on my screen. Like I could bring them up with the F three, but that's about it. There you go, Night Nightbot Nightbot's finally working right. Um, I do not play with with uh, coordinates on. There are, there are highways all over this. Uh, well, there are roads on this server to uh, get me from one location to the next, so that I don't get lost. <clears throat> I will occasionally use um. What you call it? Uh, I had words. I swear I did. Okay, now that I'm looking at things down here, it wouldn't be right to use quartz on this. It wouldn't fit with the motif. How can I... Man... What type of material should I use? Oh, that's the wrong way. I've got to do something to to notify which uh, to signify which side of the station I'm leaving. Um. Okay. So. Grab some blaze rods. So... what we do like should i should i like go heavy on the grays part of me wonders if i should maybe try to do sandstone for the floor or the ceiling man i'm stuck like i only just began and i'm already stuck there's not enough dripstone for me to use that The reds would be all right, but I don't really want to go so heavily in on that color. Woods don't make any sense for the design. I want to make this out of stone. I don't think I could stand playing without coordinates. Like, having my little technical stats... Uh, I like having my little technical stats to hand. <laughs> Fake real chemical of the day... Hydroxylic acid, better known as water. God. I don't feel like making it out of... Like... Should I use polished granite? Maybe granite and diorite, I don't know. Do I have andesite in here? I do have andesite. Very little of it, though. We've got smooth stone as well. I may as well just play around with these. Um, make some polished andesite. Make some polished diorite. God, there's like so little andesite and stuff around here. I'm going to have to go back to the warehouse if I decide to use mo any of this stuff. <clears throat> I have plenty supply out there, which is the whole point of having the warehouse, but like there's not a whole lot to go on here. Maybe because I've used deep slate tile, what I do... Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at me. I, I, I run downstairs. I'm like, oh, I've got what I need. And then I get downstairs and I'm like, oh, no, I don't have what I need. And that's like the entire process. <sighs> I 
It has a pH of 7. That's the highest of any acid. God. It causes burns in liquid, solid, and gas forms. Have, you having you having a fun time trolling over there? Huh? You know what I'll do? I know exactly what I'll do. go and then we'll come over here Sorry, I just had to give my uh, my mouse a blow. Which is which is actually the name of uh, the club that I work at. Um, well, it's related to the name of the club that I work at, Little Dinkies. Um, anyways, <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so uh, one, two, three. There we go. Will, why do you want people to remain ignorant of the dangers of dihydrogen monoxide? I, you guys are just having the time of your life with this, this whole shtick troll thing. God, the next thing I know, you guys are going to start talking about flat earth. No, no, it's shit. I shouldn't have said that. Um, anyways. Anyways, there we go. Okay, so the route for the stairways is done. Like, it's a big loop, but like, I, I enjoy having the the layout so it's like oh well you know which which platform you're supposed to go to based on which stairway you go down not a requirement just an idea so the question now becomes how do i dress this up any um and another question i have to answer is do i do like lamps or lanterns that's another important question. For the moment, what we're going to do is just focus on getting the stone up. I'm going to tear the floor out and we'll figure out how to design things.
Clearly, he's on the take of Big Walk. God. <sighs> if the Earth was flat, then wouldn't cats have knocked everything off it already? And also, time zones would also not exist if the Earth was flat. I think I think one of the the weirdest things was the whole prospect that the way that you know how a spotlight works where it's like okay well here here's here's your surface and here's the light and like it casts a cone essentially so like this is the this is the lit area of like the stage or whatever the flat surface and the whole idea is that oh it like the sun is just a spotlight that moves across the earth as, as flat. And it's like, that's, that's, that's how night is possible. And it's like showing the flat surface and the dark part versus the lit part. And I'm just staring at it. And I'm like, God, the desperation of this explanation, because it, it doesn't account for the fact that you can still see the light bulb. Even if you're in the dark place, <laughs> just, Oh my God. So, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's wild, man. It's freaking wild. And I just don't know what to make of it. As a gentle reminder to everyone, uh, we are at, uh, 25% of uh, the goal for the next uh, picture release. So uh, that's a thing, you know. 25 out of 75. The earth is flat and lizard people live in the hollow earth. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> strange inquiries. Well, you're making some strange inquiries right there. So, you know, I guess you're living up to your name. There's a goal? Yeah, yeah, there's a goal. There's a goal. Like... I've been exceedingly lazy. There's, like, I've got another set of picks that are available, you know. Same story as last time. I'll put the picks out once, uh, once, uh, you know, we've, 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 one, once enough money has come in, you know. Well, hello, Amy girl. How are you doing? Greetings to you. Night day doesn't pass that ar uh, abruptly either, so the spotlight wouldn't ha would have to be millions of <laughs> kilometers away to soften the edge. I mean, how far away is the sun? Must be, I mean, I know that it's only about eight minutes away, you know. If you're, if you're, you know, drive at top speeds in a Ford Mustang GT, which obviously is the fastest thing in the world. God. Oh, I think I just hurt my own brain by doing that one. Um. <clears throat> okay, so we've got smooth stone. We've got andesite. Um and diorite. So let's You know what? Let's um let's not do this with the texture pack on. Let's do this um figure out how this looks with it normal because if if it looks good on just the normal textures then I think that's what matters the most okay there's a lot of grays down here it's very dark but I feel like smooth stone is actually getting the best results Or that you can see the curvature of the earth if you're up high enough or have even thought 
even enough uh, sight line. I mean, there are all sorts of ways that you can argue this point, and the people who are convinced of Flat Earth, they were not logicked into the position, okay? They were never, they never got to that position via logic. They got to it through vibes, okay? And that's putting it, that, like, that is, that is making it exceedingly simple. So, <laughs> the only alternative is using polished diorite in this space instead. And I think that this might be, yeah, this, this just doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Speaking of pictures and donations, wear something nice on Monday stream. Oh, Monday stream. What, what are you talking about? There's nothing happening on Monday stream. You hear me? Nothing's happening to on Monday. Nothing's happening today. Everything is quiet. All right. You hear me? Everything is quiet and unsophisticated right now. And it's going to stay that way because nobody's going to do something irresponsible. Right, Storm Mage? Right. I'm glad we understand one another. The problem with holding a position contrary to one widely accepted scientific fact is that you inevitably end up arguing against others and that ultimately leads to arguing against both your own best interests and everyone else's. Yeah, and then we end up with runaway trains where um, you have lots of people arguing very harebrained concepts and um, ideals. And if enough people are moving in that direction, it doesn't matter whether or not it's... S uh, fact or not, you know? I'm, I'm alluding to, like, other crazy ways that the world is running these days, but... <clears throat> irresponsible? Today? No. Good. And you won't be irresponsible on Monday either, you hear me? Flat Earth to anti-vax fascism. Well, that's, that's the thing. Like, um... Lying, I don't know if you've ever, um... watched the, uh, the YouTuber an essayist folding ideas. Um, but he went into the whole, like, he went down the rabbit hole of what it is, to, what, what flat earthers are huffing, you know? What, what exactly is making them run and what are they believing? And he learned in the process of, like, going down that rabbit hole that, oh, it turns out that most flat earthers just switched over to QAnon at some point. You know, which is 10 times more heinous in my opinion. So, <clears throat> and flat earthers are weird, but they're not from where I, from what I've seen, they are not fundamentally politically motivated. QAnon, on the other hand, appears to be fundamentally politically motivated on, and, and both of the groups are vibes alone, you know, pure vibes. So... <laughs> The sun is one astronomical unit away. One AU is the average distance from the Earth to the sun. God. Also, Storm Mage, I don't like the threatening aura that you're starting to give off. It's discomforting. Could you just, like, stop? You know? Just, like, maybe stop with that threatening aura? What was it? Ah, uh, that's right. I gotta run to the other place again and grab um more smooth stone. I have I have plenty of smooth stone, but it's at the other location. So I'm gonna go ahead and like hop on the on the cart and do it and and grab materials. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna I'm gonna get in this cart and I'm gonna go and while the cart runs where it needs to. Storm page. Oh no. Amazing. Who could ever predict that it would be such a convenient human comprehensible number? <laughs> God. Mm. Oh, we. 
Okay, okay, listen. Uh, I am going to get a playlist going here for you guys because, well, you know what? I'll figure the play out, playlist out later. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and play something different. Uh, here we go. Listen, I'm going to go get myself a refill on coffee while I uh, ride the rails out of here. So, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere on me. All right, I have returned. Greetings, all greetings. <clears throat> oh, we. <sighs> the tears make me look more pathetic than I am. <laughs> well, so be it. One thing I have to say, though. Why are you warning me to 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 put something nice on? Like, isn't part of the whole goal to catch me off guard? Call me crazy on this front, but I, I just, I thought that that was a huge component of, like, the appeal, you know? Am I wrong about that? Is that not the case? Um... <clears throat> All right, hopefully that music won't get too loud. I didn't want you to be embarrassed. Is I thought I thought embarrassing me was an enormous like part of the appeal. And I'm I'm not even joking about that. I'm like, no, I I I thought that I thought that that was a huge component of like why people would bother to do it in the first place. <clears throat> People who believe ridiculous conspiracy theories make those of us who look at actual conspiracies look crazy. Oh, God. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. It's crazy how, like, the concept of a conspiracy has so thoroughly come to mean something different, you know? 
Okay. Um, right, it was smooth stone that I came out here for. I think that five is actually quite a lot more than I really need, but... My god, I can't believe I've come so far with the, uh, the brick storage. I got f about four chests to fill up, so I'm, I'm almost at the halfway point. This is, this is the middle chest once this is half full. I don't enjoy others' genuine discomfort. Well, you make your own decisions about those things, you know, but I do want to make abundantly clear that if I didn't know that I could be blindsided, which I have been, Ask me about what I've uh, ask me about the times I've been blindsided by hundos, and I'll I'll, I'll tell you the stories. But um, if I didn't know that that could happen, I wouldn't like the option wouldn't be on the table in the first place. You know, I appre I appreciate the fact that like you're concerned about me and my comfort and all of that stuff. No problem with that. But I am just saying out out loud to be abundantly clear that it's like no, if like. Being caught off guard was a really, really big problem. I wouldn't do it in the first place. So, for your sake and for everyone else's, I'm saying that out loud. I like how this, uh, this, this rail line takes long enough to, uh, to ride that I went downstairs, got coffee, and came back, and I was only just arriving at the station. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. Like I said, it's it's happened in the past, and it is, like, from where I stand personally, I think that if you manage to surprise me and embarrass me, then that's, you know, well done. Well done. That's because... Like, the option is there, it's sitting on the table the entire time, and you get to a point where you're like, nobody's, no, nobody does this, you know? People do it, but, like, nobody does it reliably or regularly or in any predictable manner. So, sometimes it'll happen in the least likely events. Like, there's sometimes where I'm like, oh, chat, you don't have the, you don't have what's, you, you don't have it in you, you don't have the money, you don't have the gumption, you know, I understand how it would, like, I'll, I'll tease the shit out of chat, right? And, times whenever I do that, it's like, no, I'm like, I am goading people into it, you know? Other times where it's just like, it comes entirely out of the blue with no warning whatsoever, those are the times where it's like, okay, well, I didn't see this coming. And that's when the, uh, the, oh no, I've been caught, you know, happens. So. And to be, to be honest, like, that's, that's probably when you're going to get the best reaction out of me as well. That'll do. Although, now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't be giving you guys the playbook. this stuff than I thought I would.
This is uh, looking a little bit funky chunky. What the heck did I do on the other side? Okay. design, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, chat. So, there's step one. Step two is to figure out the rest of the design on the floor here. Let's go back up top. And let's see what I can pull from uh, actual material here. Because I don't want to have to use that rail line again. Like, I built that rail line to get around the map faster, but I did not uh, build it to specifically do what I've been doing. You know? Which is, frankly, using it more than I want to. <clears throat> Having a stash of supplies here is nice. I need to make certain that it remains st uh, stocked. Man, you know what I gotta do at some point? I specifically have to come up with a build that relies heavily on moss to, uh, to, to... Like, forget having a grass, you know, lawn. Having, having a moss lawn or a moss garden. That's nice. That's living the dream right there. Um... I have next to no... And a site. And, hmm. I don't have any calcite here, really. What would be really nice is to, in the middle of those sections... You know what? I've got some tough. Tough might be the wrong texture. But we can give it a shot. What I'm thinking is that these floor patterns are fantastic locations to just, like, put something in... That doesn't look like a tile. It doesn't look like a grid. It all connects to itself because it's repeating. Like, I like what I'm doing here. I don't think that tough is the right way to go. What do you think, chat? Legitimately interested in your opinion here. Let us, uh, see what else there is to work with. <laughs> Baked clay blocks? Ooh! Terracotta! Terracotta might be the answer! I never thought about that. I have plenty of just straight-up clay uh, over here, ready for the taking. I'll we'll have to cook it up first, though. Honestly, I've been I've been staying away from uh, from baked clay or terracotta for a long time. Not necessarily because I have a good reason for it, but mostly because of the fact that um, it's I don't know, like. I don't have a good reason. I think it's mostly because of the fact that I just don't think about it. This is actually this is actually a really grand idea. Like terracotta is like concrete's dirty counterpart, you know? Yes, there's also glazed terracotta. I try my best to stay away from glazed terracotta because of how much it it pops. Like my main focus when it comes to glazed terracotta is is like trying to be certain that I'm using it sparingly. 
Like, that's, that is my main goal with Clay's Terracotta. I can dye the terracotta, I believe. I think I've got a touch of... Yeah, I've got some red dye here. Red isn't what I want. I mean, I just kind of have to double check whether or not it's possible to, uh, to dye it. Hello, Woo Nose. How you doing? Greetings and welcome to the stream. We're patiently, patiently, painstakingly patiently waiting for the, uh, for the furnace to finish smelting eight pieces. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, okay, I can stain it. So... That's nice. That is good to know. Um, we're not going to use it in such a capacity, but we... Uh, we need to wait for more of this stuff. You know what I could do while I'm waiting? Uh, right, I don't need this, um, I don't need this tough on me. How is everyone? Um, I believe everyone is being quiet today. Why, I don't really know. My chat is usually so filthy that they can't stop speaking. It appears to not be the case this time around. Good. How about you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing. I'm doing pretty decently. My, the main question that I have is, um, how long? Like, what I'm going through right now is basically like I wish that I was playing Final Fantasy Rebirth, but I'm I'm trying to play through the. Uh, the remake one more time before getting into Rebirth, so I'm completely fresh on stuff, and I'm just behind on my replay, so. I think I have a carpet beetle infestation again, so I'm researching that. Oh my god, Storm Mage, jeez. You, you want to talk about, like, dropping the heavy stuff on us all of a sudden. That's definitely the heavy stuff, right there. Sounds. We will completely turn that off because you guys do not deserve to uh, to deal with this this sound. What are carpet beetles? That sounds like a terrible thing to have to deal with. Does everybody like it whenever I get filthy? I'm working on my mud maker right now. Would you like to see me go mud wrestling? No, of course not. Like I've only seen two, but that's two too many. Yeah! Yeah, it's like if you see a single bed bug, you do not fucking treat that. Like, you you go, like, red alert type of situation, you know? Some infestations, you, do, you just do not take chances with. You don't mess with it. You go freaking get the, get the fire hose, you know? Well, not the fire hose. Just get the flamethrower, you know? That's the solution. That's what you do. They're these little black beetles with white spots uh, that eat organic fabric and fur. That's... That's no bueno, bruh. That is... That is not a good time down at the club.
I like that music, but it's getting a little bit loud. <clears throat> so, like, as I'm going into physical therapy, right? Because, you know, I got that back injury. The, uh, the physical therapists and a lot of the patients in there, they love to talk. They talk about so much. One of the things... One of the things that they love, love, love to talk about specifically is food. They constantly talk about, like, lunch and restaurants and whatnot. Which, I mean, cool. Oh, man. Super Mutant? Okay. Okay, so Super Mutants from Fallout 3, because I don't know any other Super Mutants better. Just the ones from Fallout 3. <clears throat> All right, Doomsday Paladin, you redeem uh, accent. Super Mutant Strife. Let's see if we can get into the get into the uh, the mood and the tood. Get the attitude for uh, for a super mutant. I can actually do some fun things with my voice. Today, I can do fun things with my voice because of all of the drainage that I have. The allergens are doing things to my throat that make it really, really easy to be up extra low and extra rumbly for all of you. I'm certain that some people would love to redeem a flirt with this type of a voice, right? <clears throat> All right. Let's see if I can, like, mentally prepare myself to actually do a good, fun rendition of the, uh, Super Mutant. <laughs> That did not come out the way that I intended it to. Sorry. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Going back to why can't America be normal? You can buy bed bugs online. What? What? My 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 throat is not capable of doing some voices today. It's just in impossible because of the uh <clears throat> because of the drainage. Home. I want to find mute milk of human kindness. Okay. Okay, maybe that'll do. I want to find milk of human kindness. Become stronger than puny little humans. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a good super mutant for you? I'll need some feedback. Nailed it. That's fantastic. I feel like... Feel like eating squishies. I need more people. Take them home. Give them green stuff. Good 
good meat. Have to eat not long after killing. Warm that way. Mmm. Tasty. Mattress is infested with bed bugs. Need a new mattress. Need new tires. Hubcaps on armor falling apart. Not enough mutant to go around and fix everything. Need more workers. Need more humans. Put them in chains and tell them what to do. That way, Super Mutant can live comfortably. Humans are key, key to a comfortable life. Shouldn't have eaten last humans. Worked good, but Tommy was oh so empty. Why can't America be normal? You can buy bed bugs online. Put bed bugs in my own bed. Regret that action. Uh, not good. Bed bugs in own bed. Get itchy before long. I bet having P Super Mutant for president would fix everything. Vote strong, 2020. 30. 33rd. Yes. Strong. Twenty, twenty certain more meat. I am strong, and I approve of this message. Ooh la la. Uh, another human who needs eating <coughs> more meat. I'll get machete. Get ready to chop. Good and fun times are had by all when strong is president. The 
make certain all super mutants have free lunches made of human meat. Plenty of terracotta. We'll do a good job paving subway. Very annoyed. Not working way I wanted. Does not look right. Terracotta is bad choice for subway aesthetic. Strong no big words. Color coding of concrete. Terracotta, no good. Okay, that's that's 11 minutes of, of Super Mutant, and my god, what has that done to my voice? My vocal cords. Oh, man. You're right, none of the terracotta is looking... Like, it didn't look like light gray, this doesn't really look light blue. I'm increasingly disappointed with terracotta. 
It doesn't look right. It doesn't feel good, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, this appears to be a bust. Anybody got any other ideas? Like, the reason that the station is undone is because I'm ha I've been having this particular issue for so long. Cook it again, does he get a two, uh, two by two pattern? It does! And I mean, I suppose there's nothing wrong with me doing that, mostly because what the hell else am I gonna do with a bunch of terracotta sitting around, but I don't really wanna use, like, it's too flashy. I want it to be a lot more basic. Say. I just thought of something. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Inspiration just struck. spare furnace in here. Wow. That's unexpected. We'll get another one. Nothing wrong with another extra furnace. And it didn't get made out of cobblestone like I intended, but okay. What's this? Holy moly, Amlab just resubscribed. Wow, half a stack of subs. I can't believe it's been this long. 32 months, my word, that is a long time indeed. Welcome to the stream, Amlab. It is good to see you again, and it's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money. Thank you so much for the subscription, and I hope that you enjoy yourself while you're here. That's two, that's more than two and a half years. That's a, that's a pretty good length of time. Okay, that's what does it. All right. Does just does normal deep slate cook again? No, it does not. Okay, so Can't believe it's been almost three years since CBH. That's when I first started following you guys. My God, has it... Was that the... Wow. 
Didn't realize. Holy moly. Okay, so this is what normal basalt looks like. Let's see what, um... Normal deep slate looks like. So... Gotta be careful to use the silk toucher on this one. So... This is what normal deep slate looks like, but... Unbeknownst to most people, deep slate can actually have its orientation change. So it's possible for me to, like... Do this. Oops. Which is okay. But there's also this, which is polished basalt. Which is way more distinct than just, like, the normal basalt over here. This blends in way better. We're not done yet. And this is one that I think a lot of people sleep on. This is smooth basalt. Which, in my opinion, is one of the better types of uh, stones to use for a motif. I like it, but it's not quite right. I'm thinking that the un... I'm, I'm thinking that undone... I'm thinking unmodified basalt might be the best option here. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, chat? I think it might be a little bit too busy. Lissai, 15 minutes until load shedding. Have a great night, Will and company. Don't do anything too filthy without me. Don't worry, Eli. Nobody's gonna have me take my underpants off. I promise you that. <clears throat> and I'm positive all of chat is going to be super responsible and not, not make me do anything of the sort. Right, chat? Maybe it's a combination of the two. Maybe, maybe I take this back up. Oh, wow, that blends together really well. Oh, I think I found the solution. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Okay, so that's, that's unmodified basalt and then smooth basalt. Hey, that looks great! <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have to make more of this uh, cooked bas basalt, but um, I'll get there. Uh, what's up, Doomsday? Do you have words? What if I want to cause some chaos, though? Doomsday? What are you suggesting that you...
Save me now. Me and Dick Dapper, we're on another assignment. We have to shoot these fools. Thank you very much for uh, for the cheer there, Doomsday. Hello, Kieran. The music is so dramatic. Yeah, right. Whenever I got a uh, got a raid too. Hello, Dave. Greetings, Kieran. Dave, the 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 the, the most Daves of Kierans and the most Kierans of Daves. How are you doing? <clears throat> Thank you so much for the cheer there, Doomsday. It's good to know that I'm worth both your time and your money. Great to have you along for the ride. Welcome to the stream. Enjoy yourself while you're here. And for your information, that's not true. True. Chaos. Is butt food? Depends on how much you like eating cake. I... Why? Did you start a hype train? <laughs> uh, doing okay. Hope you're alright. I'm I'm managing. Someone got me to do a super mutant voice for like ten minutes, so like I'm I'm recovering from that now. <sighs> we just got done doing uh, financial chores, working on a. Ooh la la. 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 <clears throat> okay. Congratulations. Ocular Storm. Thank you, Doomsday, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Ocular Storm, for the 1,000 bits. Thank you, Ocular Storm, for gifting subscriptions to Artis Art, Zata64, Super Dad, Sawtooth, and Silver Crane. Dave. Kieran Dave, thank you so much for gifting subscriptions to Highlander, Davian, Squid Pro Pro, uh, Crescenda, and Barb uh, Barbian Jim. Barbian Jim. Storm Mage, thank you for the 200 bits. Amlab, thank you for the 100 bits. 
We can stop. Take that. Oh, for God's sake. Sure you, sure you can, but with a hype train. Such a cute boy. I'm not cute. Don't you dare say that. Do not say that. But I have more bits. Oh, no. Don't stop. Keep go. No, you can stop. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Thank you very much, Oculus Storm, for gifting subs to Crystal Place, Quartz Nova, Liska Day, uh, Georgie Girl, and Zombie Doll. Also, um, you streaming on Twitch and YouTube? Yes, yes, I am. I am streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. <clears throat> I cannot wait to see Lying Space when they see the Nightmare Fuel I just posted. Oh no. What type of Nightmare Fuel are we looking at here? The show is delicious in Dungeon and honestly they need to hire this guy to redo the entire D&D ecology. Oh, we just- oddly enough, we just started- Damn it, Storm Mage, stop it! Stop cheering! Hello, Poison Potato, how you doing? Greetings and welcome to the stream. We're just, uh, we're having a bit of a... I'm having a bit of a moment on... Hey, 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 hey. This isn't too loud, is it? No sound, so no copyright, it's not a huge spoiler. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so... We can get back to the game if you guys promise to stop throwing money at me for just a moment. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy for money, but stop. <laughs> the stream has been too sleepy for all of you to suddenly start doing stuff like this. I mean, if you insist on doing things this way, okay, so be it, but like, for God's sake. Yuck. Only because you asked. Well, I'm glad that I've got your approval in some capacity. Frowns. extra mud on me that I forgot about. You want a warning next time? I don't know that a warning is going to fix anything. I'm just saying, okay? Hello, G. Hello, Poison Potato. How are you two doing? Over there in the in the quieter... Over in the quiet section. You know? I hope you two are doing fine over in the quiet section. There's a loud section over here where people keep on making noises. And they apparently really love to troll me as well. Redeemed S-word? Searing. Searing. That's what. Well, wait, wait, maybe it was seething. See, yeah, seething is the better word, so. 
Hello, Mr. Trashcan. How you doing? Greetings and welcome to the stream. Enjoy yourself while you're here. Along with everyone else. <sighs> this must be our punishment. We get to hear the game, but not see it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I didn't forget to switch scenes. It's me punishing you. Absolutely. Without question. Fifteen subs and fifteen hundred bits. All right, cool. I, I'm gonna say that's great. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for messing with me with a hype train when I wasn't ready for one. I also did a Minecraft stream. I dug a tunnel for three hours. That's just the nature of Minecraft there, isn't it? It's like, what'd you do in Minecraft today? I, I dug a tunnel for three hours. It's like, was that fun? Yeah, a whole lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. You know? Oh, more punishment, please. Reverse screens. Okay, well. Also adopted a dog. Well, that's that's pretty nice. Nothing wrong with a duck, a duck, a ducting, a ducting a pupper. You know, what's this? Oh, hey, it's the to-do list for the Strife series. It's been a while since I've done a, a Strife series. It was fun in the sense that my crippling anxiety about the state of the world was briefly staved off by the mundanity of breaking dirt blocks. God, that's a, that is such a mood. That is such a mood. Adducting. When you adduct. Abduct. A duck. Yes, exactly. That's what happened with my mouth and my words. No misunderstanding exactly what uh, came to pass there. All right, that's enough of that stuff. Um, we'll just let the rest of it cook. <clears throat> well, even if you guys decide to throw uh, throw moments like that at me and just completely upend my entire jive, at the very least, I um, I can take solace in the fact that none of you did something truly irresponsible. And I can't say what that truly irresponsible thing is, because the minute that I say it, the minute that I say it, someone will do it. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I didn't even really intend to just play this entire soundtrack and you know, switch over the way that I did. I was just trying to play the right type of music when stuff was going on for the freaking incident. You did think about- well... No, 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 I'm not acknowledging anything. I'm not acknowledging anything. If I don't think about it, then it doesn't exist. You guys will conduct yourselves as you see fit, and I will not tell you one way or the other. And I'm not gonna test tempt fate. <clears throat> Fun fact about Delicious in Dungeons and D&D. 
Uh, about seven years ago, me and my friend made a D&D ability all about cooking monsters because they loved uh, the manga so much. I mean, it's a good show. It's a good show. I've barely watched any of it. We only just started watching it last night. But, man, it's fun. It's fun. I get it. I get why people like it. Come up 25 short of actually getting the, the the fancy pants today. I'm very fascinated. Thank you very much for the donation. Um, uh, good job finishing the tunnel. Looking forward to that pick. <sighs> All right. Well. The timing was perfect. Ugh. <coughs> Thank you very much for the seventy-five dollars. That does put us put us over the uh, the hundo mark. So um, let me just go ahead and update my uh, my notes here. So yes, yes, this means that there's another pick that's gonna go up, and I'll go ahead and I'll I'll go ahead and put that pick up right now, because why the hell not? You guys love uh, staring at my pretty face, don't you? You're you're having fun staring at my pretty face, so I won't I won't get between you guys and staring at my pretty face some more, okay? Why not? Why not? It's good times. It's absolutely good times. Anonymous dropped uh, twenty five. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You you just let me do my thing real fast here, okay?
There we go. Should be done. <clears throat> you will never guess who have you, uh, who have you the final 25 for your goal. It's actually impossible to guess. You'll never guess who gave you the 25 for the final bits of your goal. God. Uh, I don't think, I, I'm not even going to try to guess. I'm not even going to try to guess. Ah, uh, you guys love trolling me. All right. Well, there we go. Your your screen swap has been completed. Oh my god, my timing was perfect. Yes, yes it was. It was. The idea of like making an alternative and more real world dungeon ecology is so neat. It's like a quirky issue of uh, Dragon Magazine delivered as an anime. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, switch back to the other music. God, my timing was perfect. Thanks for the gift sub. No problem. Hello, Will in chat. Hello, Zada. How you doing? Flirt. I think I deserve a thank you. All right, all right. I'll pause that. <clears throat> I'll give you a flirt. We are once again 75 from the next pick. Yes. Yes, we are 75 from another pick. So you are entirely correct about that. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the money. It's a shame that you were just $25 away from really getting my shorts off. How's that? One of these days, someone will convince me to uh, mail them what I put on the wall at some point. Wouldn't, wouldn't doubt the possibility of it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you very much. This anonymous person sounds really cool. Yeah, they do, Dave. That put us over the mark, didn't it? Well, it did put us over the mark. We were sitting at 25, we got 75, went to 100, and now we're up to 25 again for round two. There are a total of five pictures. Hopefully they all meet um, interest and demand, as it were. I believe the uh, I believe the command is with an S, picks, instead of just pick. Yeah, there you go. Step one of five. <clears throat> Step one of five.
Very Grecian. Grecian? Is that Grecian or Grecian? I mean, I hope that you guys enjoy the view. I certainly, uh, I, I'm, I take those pictures specifically because I know that there's an audience who's interested, you know? All right, now my next challenge is figuring out how to do the, uh, the ceiling. Arched? I could. How much space do I have to work with? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like ten layers, so I should be perfectly fine to do this. Um, plenty of space between uh, this ceiling and uh, the ground upstairs. Maybe a few splashes of red? Maybe. No, you take the pics because you like to. You share because we like to look. All right. I, I, I can't argue with you on that. You're entirely correct. You're entirely correct. I don't know how I've dodged the bullet of a hundo today either. That's like... That is by far the most noteworthy thing thus far with how active of a stream this has been, with a a hype train and then um, the donation there. I don't know what to say. Oh no, it's a strife. Well, hello there, Tevla. Greetings and welcome to you. Um, tell you what, chat. I'm going to leave you sitting here and enjoying the music for a little bit because what I need to do is hop downstairs and grab more coffee. I think I need to grab more coffee. No, I don't. There's more coffee in this mug. More than a single swig. Which is quite the surprise. Um, I do agree that doing more color with the roof is the right move. The question is what colors and how, you know? Um, torn on how exactly to go forward with this. legitimately don't know what to do about the uh, the ceiling. I legitimately like I'm god this is this is my problem. I've been staring at this entire underground section for more than a year. And the entire time all I can think is what do I do with it?
near the floor. I could... I could absolutely do that, but I don't think that's what I'm really interested in doing. Like, it's... I am I am that person right now where... I'm, I'm that person in the group who's like, I don't care what we eat, and everything that everybody uh, suggests, I shoot down. That's how I am with this project. That's how much trouble I'm having with it. And that makes me the bad person in the room, right? I think that makes me legitimate, like, I think that, I think that becomes my villain, like, my origin story. Like, my, my villain origin story. I think that's what it has to be for me. I'm that guy who's shooting everything down. You know, the feeling that SMP servers have lobbies is annoying. Hmm. I don't know. Lo lobbies being annoying in SMP servers, that, that, that doesn't sound something that makes sense to me. Bite him? Why, why, why would anybody want to bite me? Eat my shorts. Something along those lines? How did I miss this? I just like the old days of servers, that's why. Uh, things are always, uh... You know, like, the, the whole, like... You know, things used to be better back in, you know, day X, Y, or Z. I get that. And I try really, really hard not to fall into that. Because it's so easy to, 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 you know, fall into a nostalgia trap, if you will. Arches, so we know. Arches, maybe, and a bit of color. Yeah. Arch, like, a bit of color would be nice. The thing is, I'm trying to stay away from it. Like, I want to make the... Here's the thing. I want these bays to be a lot more colorful. To be more res representative of the way that the, the, the rail lines that they access are interesting. So, like, this this uh, platform over here, I want it to have more of a, like, end stone motif than any of the others. So, that's part of the reason why I'm trying to keep this so neutral. Because you're going to have these much brighter pops in color off in these separate um, sections, you know? Where do these rails lead? They they lead all over the server, um, because like this is this is a ten year old server. If you're interested in this in the history of this server, you can type in exclamation tour, um, and you'll get a YouTube video of me you know going over the the history of this server and whatnot and how I've been working on it since basically Minecraft 1.0. So, um. Some of these rails lead to interesting places, some of them less interesting, you know, but all different construction projects. <clears throat> Question? Well, I mean, I, I told you what there is to know. I don't, I don't know what else to say to you. I still need to fix this one up, too. Man, I made this one so absurdly wide. Unnecessarily so. You look tired. How are you streaming? <clears throat> it's mostly just my voice. I have a lot of drainage today. That's all. Um, alright. Well, I, th I guess the only thing that I can do is just go for it, okay? So maybe what I do, maybe, maybe the plan here, is to make the arches brighter. Like, make, make the arches out of bright stone and, the, like, brighter stones, and then make the ceiling itself out of just straight-up black stone, because that's the darkest material that... How long have you been streaming? Um, this session is, uh, two and a half hours. I've been, I've been doing... If you're, if you're asking how long my career has been with content creation, I've been active since 2007. Like, I have one of the older YouTube channels out there. I'm not saying it's the oldest one, but that's how long I've been active, okay? 
I've got plenty of history. My name is William Strife. I've um, I've been doing YouTube videos and stuff for a long time. Less so these days than I have in the past. Um, Amlab is on it. Yes, Amlab is on it. <clears throat> Don't make too much noise. My parents were sleeping and if they found out I'd be in trouble. Oh, you got a you got a volume control button. That's the plan. Anyways. I guess what we're gonna do. So I made the supports out of um Let's check let's check what the um the stone cutter does here. Can I get polished stairs? Okay, I can. I can get deep slate polished stairs. So there's that. What should we do for lunch? You know, Tev, I don't know what to tell you on that front for the primary reason that like we've had it hasn't been that long since like I had a big breakfast. I had a big breakfast. I don't know that I have the space for, like, a whole bunch. Uh, I don't know that I have the space for a heavy lunch. Archer the dog is nudging me. Help. I mean, um... I send you thoughts and prayers. <laughs> okay, so... We have polished... Deep slate here. Oh my god, freaking night already. Rip Dave Archer got them. <clears throat> so I've got to figure out how exactly to make this arch work. Um, so I guess what I'll do is, should I do it in the, here, or should I do it, let's do it here. This is the longer section that would need to be done. Tatsu. That's not really any good. What does that look like? That's not a significant arch, but I suppose it could work. Tatsu, uh, Tatsu just subscribed at tier 1, 47 months. Hey, Strife, having uh, fun extending your transport system? I've just been busy trying to figure out this entire transport system, how it should, how it should look, you know? I think breakfast kick-started my stomach. Tev hungry? Yes, Tev, I believe ten, Tev be hungry. Um... <clears throat>
Dare I find the version, uh... Dare I find the Deep Slate version of coal since they are rare? You know... When you put it like that, that you, you just make it sound like a challenge for me to actually get my hands on Deep Slate coal and use it as a design flare. Tev hungry. Hungry butt spot. But hungry? Yes, yes. Someone, something, something, I really enjoy cake. That's, uh, that's, that's the plan. Well, Chad, I certainly hope that you uh, you enjoy the uh, the published picks that are up today, because I certainly I, think, I got I got I like I I have to work at those. In fact, like of the five picks that I've taken, only two have been finished. No, 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 three have been finished. I just finished uh, working on the third one today before stream because I had time for it, um, and. Well, yeah, there you go. Nothing else to be said. So then... Maybe what I do is I remove these... Wiggling around up there. Hang on. It's gonna drive me nuts if I don't grab it. There we go. Seeing you build this makes me want to continue building my rail from my base to an area I found that I can collect sponges from. Wait, is it... you can collect sponges in the game? I thought the sponges were exclusive as things that you could collect out of, um, ocean monuments and there was a limited number of them. Did I miss something about, like, availability of sponges? Minecraft has lots of updates to it, so I wouldn't be surprised if I somehow missed it. There's so many fine details. Man, it's doing it again. Never build overworld transit networks personally. Big fans of ice highways through hell, though. Well, that's just it, Lang. Like, I've got ways to get through things in the nether. But one, like, the purpose of having a freaking rail line is so that you can just put your character in the cart and not have to hold, the, hold a button down the whole time to get where you need to go. That is 100% of the, um, the appeal. So... Okay, so I have zero blackstone. So let's let's go back up and grab some blackstone. True, ice roads require uh, paying attention, but you're all, uh, you were also on them for far shorter periods of time. Yeah, but, like, again, like, the point is not to get where you're going super fast. The point is to be able to AFK while you're going somewhere. Oh, 
All right, Blackstone. Blackstone, okay. We'll do polished Blackstone. So, with that done, it's a matter of, like, you think the deep slate is dark, and then you see the black stone in this game, and you're like, holy crap. Guys, I think I just heard a cat thing. I need to go check that out. So, um... You'll have to, uh... You'll have to... Excuse me.
All right, so sorry about that. <clears throat> I looked it up, and you are correct, Strife. You can only get sponges from ocean monuments. <clears throat> it's been a while since I last played. I must have mistaken it. Mistaken, and the rail I'm building is this somewhere else. I just remember it's uh, a body of water. Ah. Clearly, Stroof just needs to get... Uh, to grips with the piston bolt technology. The best of both worlds. <sighs> What's wrong with using the systems that are already implemented in the game? <laughs> Hello, Jigglham. St Stronf is just getting coffee, I think. <laughs> yes, I was getting coffee, but I, I, I had to check the cats. Luckily, a lot of the situation with Harker and Ratchet is... Their relationship has basically progressed to mostly don't touch me, you know? Don't touch me and don't surprise me. They're not super comfortable with each other yet, but they're, they're, they are inching ever so closer to being okay with being next to one another. So, like, when I was downstairs um, getting coffee, I was like, well, you know, just use the bathroom real fast. So, the bathroom is the drawer where I stash um, some of the cat toys that they love. And for that reason, they want to go into the bathroom with me, right? Because they, they want to beg for the toys to be taken out. So I have to shut the door, no matter how simple of a visit to the bathroom it is. And so I finish up, you know, wash my hands and all that stuff, and I open the door, and they are sitting there, not a foot from one another, <laughs> waiting for me to come out. You got a new cat? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Um, let me see. I think, uh, there we go. Yeah, Harker. This is, this is our new cat, Harker. We've had him for about a month or so. Um, it's a pro, it's a process, you know? Like, we, it's, it's been, it's been a bumpy adoption, to put it mildly, okay? Well, you have a great rest of your day. I'm off to play the Outer Worlds later, Will and Tev. Hey, it was nice to have you along for the ride, Oculus Storm. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your gaming. So, yes, this is Harker. He's like a year old and he has so much energy. <clears throat> Since you mentioned ocean, ocean monuments, I'm pretty sure I've built my base next to one. You know, that's one of the bigger projects that still needs to get done here on this server. Um, I need to, like, I've, I've got an ocean monument. I still haven't beaten it. It needs to be drained. There's, there's a lot of work to get done, basically. So. These corners are going to be a lot more difficult to do. God. He's he's a cute little void. That's to be certain. He's a cute little void. <clears throat> you know, I I just realized at this moment that I've still yet to create an underpants gallery. For uh, all of you filthy freaks out there. We're just gonna rip out as much stone as we can. Anybody want to take bets on how long before the next picture ends up getting published? <laughs> oh, we. Anyways, I should stop tooting my own horn. Not that it's much of a horn to toot. Ho, 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 ho. Um. Hey, Tev, I have a question for you. What exactly are you interested in eating today? Because, like, I'm, I'm in that position where it's like, I'm still feeling hunky dory. You know, I don't, I don't have a need. Would 
the underpants gallery be just images of the panties or would it be pics of you modeling them? It would just be pictures of the panties. Mo specifically because I would need to show it up up here on screen whenever uh, someone rede redeems a, uh, a swap. That's the that's what I specifically mean, you know? up there. How wonderful. Sorry to disappoint, Amlab. But, like, there, I've got, like, more than 20 pair that I need to show off and shit, like... That many, like, I can't just give that type of good material away for free. Oops. Have to figure that out in a moment. So I don't know how, but I somehow got buckets of pufferfish, and I remember I found them, but I don't know how. Um, you can scoop them up. I think the chances of finding a, a fish in a bucket, I think that's possible for, like, some of the rewards that you can find inside of, like, um, mines. Uh, I also know that you can buy those off of uh, traders, wandering traders specifically. do some clean up here. There we go. That's probably how I got them from a wandering trader. <laughs> well, I mean, there are traders and they do and they are known to wander as per their name. Man, there's more roof to remove than I thought. Also, I'm making a potion, but I forget how to increase the length of time. Um, length of time, I believe, is redstone. It's redstone or glow dust. But th those those two things are how you uh, you enhance your potions. And I don't remember which one enhances uh, potency versus uh, duration.
Length is redstone, increasing from one to two is glowstone. Gunpowder makes it splash potion. There you go, Amlab coming through with the details. Here's a question for you, chat. Do you remember who your first crush was? Like, whether it was a real or a fictional character? Thanks, now I got the increased water breathing potion. Shago from Kim Possible. Shago. Never heard of this character. Hang on, let me let me do a little bit of googling. Oh, isn't she like? Wasn't she the villain from that show? La Green Girl. Oh, oh, she go. She and go strife. I'm like, I, I read that initially and I was like, are you suggesting that I do something? I'm. <laughs> I remember that because in Lying's Nether series, they never could get long lasting potions because you can't get redstone in the Nether. Oh. Good point. Yes, and people still find her hot. I'm certain that there's plenty of art out there, you know? I'm certain that there's, there's, there's a community for it, you know? As there is a community for just about every fictional character out there. Feels like there's like a, a, a granular subsection of the internet dedicated to every single fictional character that comes around, you know? <laughs> Your first crush was a classmate. Really? Really? Nothing like that, uh, that whole process of, like, young love or whatever, you know? I mean, her power allows her to destroy anything she touches. That's pretty powerful. Fictional character was Avery from Pokemon Shield. Avery from Pokemon Shield. I'm going to have to look this up. Gonna have to jam a bunch of this stone back into the ceiling. That is an interesting character design. What on earth is up with this outfit? That is flamboyant as hell. Holy crap. <clears throat> He's a twink bastard and I <laughs> love him. Up until I was six or seven, I didn't really engage with media. Probably a fictional character knowing me. Knowing me. Man.
Get supported, nerd. <laughs> Hello, extra happy. How are you doing? For anybody wandering in just now, I want you to know that there's been uh, there's been an update to the gallery because um, someone decided to to get someone decided to open their wallet. I'm not saying that that individual was wise with the way that they spent money, but they just spent their money anyway. You should look up the Pokemon professors from Scarlet and Violet. People especially love the Scarlet Professor. I'm assuming that I, it's a woman? People seem to, like, go crazy for female characters, or at least that's that's the perception that I've I've had about, like, uh, fictional characters. It's like, oh, like, if, if the character is, you know, a very particular type of build and, and, and a woman, then, like, internet goes wild. It's, it's much smaller scale when it's, like, uh, a quote-unquote hot dude, you know? Like, the the most recent one that I can think of for a hot hot dude was, like, um, Ganon. Ganondorf, you know? From Tears of the Kingdom. And even that was lesser, so... Man, Ganondorf was hot. <laughs> God. I'm back. What I miss? Strife asking about childhood crushes and if they were fictional or real. Ah, uh, the old someone opens their wallet and pulls out something unexpected. So you have to compliment them. <laughs> Extra happy. Look at me. People open their wallets to me, and I don't have to compliment them. I just have to say thank you for the money, and then do the thing that they, they paid me for, so. Which may or may not always be legal, but hey! It's not like I'm recording it, and then putting it online, and which is effectively the same thing as selling it, which makes it legal in the end. <laughs> Wait, people were simping over Ganondorf? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, were they ever simping over Ganondorf! People were rabid for rehydrated Ganondorf. Yes, yes they were. Holy moly were they ever.
Like, you thought that tw uh, Twink Link was, like, the, the peak of, like, Zelda fandom thirst? Holy crap. Well, no, he is... He is peak of Zelda fandom thirst. But, um... Because, like, I've, I've seen plenty of, like, filthy fan art for the Zelda franchise over the years. But whenever they made Link so androgynous and, like, even had him dressing up um, to get into Gerudo Town in Breath of the Wild, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen something take off quite as phenomenally well as that for, like, fan art of a particular character. Hello, Swindles. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome in. I hope that you enjoyed your stream. Welcome to mine. How you doing? Who voiced Ganondorf? Was it Matt Mercer? Yes, it was Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer was the one who helped to drive the, um, the hot Ganondorf, like, uh, fandom. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, three, four, and then do I have normal? Yeah, I do. I still got it. I'm going to have to go grab some more deep slate, though. Two, three, four, and then this one. Cool. Support pillars aren't going to put themselves up, man. Professors are version exclusive, and the Scarlet uh, the Scarlet Professor is female. Uh, has some primitive looks to her design, and the Violet Male Professor has futuristic characteristics. Oh, primitive versus okay, okay, I understand the the, the dynamic there. Ganon Daddy, oh my God, <laughs> Ganon Dwarf, Ganon Daddy. Greetings, Raiders. Good. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. It's it's getting a little bit warm in this office. Not gonna lie, getting a little bit warm in this office. We've had we've had some crazy swings in the weather around here lately. Hello Raiders and welcome to Thirsting Over Ganondorf with Strife. That's not true. We are not thirsting over Ganondorf. I'm talking about how crazy the freaking fandom went over Ganondorf. There is a difference. I swear that there's a difference. I am not one of those people that saw Ganon Daddy and, you know, Threw their bra at, this, uh, at them on stage <laughs> or something. God. Oh, we we are now. Damn it! Stop hijacking my stream. Chat, you're not allowed to do this with my stream. <laughs> you thirsty freaks. Deep Slate, that's what I came up here for. Deep Slate. Kinda low on the stuff. I gotta go back to like mining this stuff before long.
fine. Ban us all, one by one. As much as I would love to do that, I don't think that it's a feasible course of action. Unfortunately. Greetings, Nifty. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Faring well, I hope. You did just call him Ganon, Daddy. <laughs> That's people, not Professor Autocorrect. From what I've seen the Matt, uh, of Matt Mercer, he probably enjoys it. People ask him to act out Ganon. <laughs> I mean, that's a prestigious role to hold as well. Can you imagine... Um, she's, less, she's less prolific, but what is her name? Uh, Patricia Somerset. Like, she is, she's less prolific than, um, Matt Mercer. Obviously, Matt Mercer is extremely pro prolific because of the fact that he's more or less like the face of Critical Role. Uh, not to say that he's the only one there, but, you know, being the dungeon master for it, uh, which has been monumentally successful. Um, like, Patricia... That's, like, she holds a very important, and, 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 like, it's like a 20-plus-year-old franchise that's never been voiced. She's the one who gets to do a fully voice-acted Zelda, you know? That's a really big deal. Matt Mercer is the first one to get that, uh, to do the same thing for Ganondorf. Presumably, no one's ever gonna fill that role for Link, you know? Like, yeah, there's always a voice actor for Link, but it's not to literally speak dialogue. So, regardless of how you slice it up, it's like, oh, no, like, that's that's a really, really big deal. Like, you could have, you could grow up with this entire franchise as a kid, and now all of a sudden, you're the voice of a centerpiece character, you know? Who the hell knows? Maybe Nintendo is going to take the attitude of, like, well... Why would we want to change, you know? Like, we found perfectly good voice talent, and there's no good reason to switch, you know? It's not like they're trying to have one big cohesive world in the first place. Wait, Matt Mercer's a DM? thought he just did VA. Like, Jiggleham, do you, have you ever heard of Critical Role? Like, I'm, I'm legitimately curious if the, this is the, if you don't know anything about this, which if you don't, so be it, but like, I'm, I'll be very surprised. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
swinging flag. Viva la revolution! Hostile takeover. Oh my god. How did I miss this until just now? Uh, has the hostile takeover been going on for a while and I only realized? What is it? This was posted six minutes ago. Not gonna lie, I did enjoy a good dehydrated Ganon. <laughs> what if we want to hijack this stream? You'll have to pry this stream from my cold, dead hands. is Matt Mercer the DM, but uh, other voice actors play the main cast. It's fun. Oh, yeah, like, I, I guess I guess if you don't know anything about Critical Role, the reason why it took off was because it was literally a bunch of voice actors who, one, know how to change their voice, two, know how to act, playing D&D. &D. So it's just like, how, how do you not end up with something that could be radically different by having a bunch of professional actors playing that type of a game together. Like, I would argue that they understand storytelling probably better than your average D&D uh, &D player, you know? So, you know, they they started it off, and uh, it was wildly successful, and it's still going now. They're, all, they're up to, like, what, five campaigns or something? I don't know. I watched the first campaign, and uh, I, I fell off after that because it's like, oh, God, that, this takes so much time. Them doing so made it so that streaming, D&D uh, &D streaming is a career choice now. Yes, they were not the first to stream D&D, &D, but they were, the, they were the breakout success. And I think the, the thing that made it very different is the fact that, one, the team, like, they, no one at that table was fresh, you know? No one at that table was fresh. Like, they, 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 they came into it with a, uh, an existing campaign, and that made a a lot of difference, so. I know Matt Mercer did one of the characters in Cyberpunk Edge Runners. The dragon skin rug, rug plan was a success. This is how you easily take over strap solutions. God. So, whoops, that was not what I meant to do. Okay, so that's how we do the archway. 
I'm just gonna- I'm gonna focus in on getting these archways done. If I get the archways done, I'll be- I'll spend less time puzzling over what the hell I'm trying to do next. Also, you can see how much they enjoy the game, too, especially when you have Sam Regal doing his silly shenanigans. That guy is a hell of a musical, uh, musically trained entertainer. Like, my, my understanding is that he comes from, like, a family. Like, he has lineage as a, uh, as a musical entertainer. So, hardly surprising that he's good at what he does. Archway's done? I think the archways are done. Okay. Man. I love stuff like Warhammer 40k and Shadowrun, but I could never get into that kind of thing. Man, that game, that a game that they released a while back, Shadowrun Returns, I got that, and I tried so hard to enjoy it, and it was just like, no, oh, this, this gameplay is just not for me. This is just not for me. They technically were fresh, but with D&D 5th Edition, because it was originally a Pathfinder game. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, but what I, what I mean by, like, the freshness is the fact that, like, they all had experience playing tabletop games, like, they didn't have to figure out their characters at that point, they had a rapport going with one another, um... People understood the places that they were, were filling within the party and within the campaign. Tev is sending me more snarky, uh, mug, uh, products. The latest mug product says, I wish I could have found you sooner, so I could have annoyed you longer. I might be getting more hungry than I realize. Like, I am just trying to finish this freaking hallway, man. That's all I'm trying to do. Here. 
All right, I'm gonna bounce. Have a good one. See ya. Hey, it was nice to have you along for the ride, Jiggleham. Uh, I hope that you have a good rest of your day. And don't forget, there's always a possibility for extra streams during the evening. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll see you then. Who the hell knows? Parker's chasing your hand. That boy's got too much damn energy, man. Strife, let's have lunch. Yes, we do need to have lunch, and I'm I'm still not certain what type of lunch to have. There was so much support behind the animated series, it was awesome to see. Yeah, I'm very curious to see, uh, I think they're going for at least one more season on it. Not entirely certain where that's gonna go after the death of, uh, one of the major voice actors in the series, though. Okay, so, I don't think that there's any good way to do this section, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, uh, fill it in entirely. We just want to do pizza or something. God, you know, I'm so blasé. Chat, do you have any ideas? Because I am so blasé about what to have for lunch today. Sushi? Unfortunately, we are a distinct no sushi house. Uh, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, you, you had no way to know. Unfortunately, I'm not much for fish. Yeah, Tev, Tev is, like, born and raised Midwestern. Which means, like, the most exposure you have to fish is whenever it comes out of a can. Um, and even then, maybe it's not all that great. So... <laughs> big hunk of this station fi uh, finished and all designed is a bit like this is not what I was expecting things to come out looking like you know like I had no clue what the hell this project was gonna end up looking pizza or salad get my vote I myself am most likely to have pork fried rice, teriyaki pork, hot and spicy chicken, and sweet and sour chicken for dinner. Chinese doesn't sound bad. Chinese does not sound bad. Don't know that it's what I want, though. God, I'm fine with whatever. Proceeds to shoot everything down. Ugh.
God, I ran out of my normal filler block. Now sending me Zelda and Linkart. Have no clue where that block decided to vanish off to. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Almost entirely done. Another year is my husband, you lucky man. The, the mugs don't stop, chat. The mugs do not stop, chat. I think I want some Chinese takeout. You know what? Then we'll do Chinese takeout. That's, that's easy, it's right down the road, and it's only a short wait until it's ready. I say that's what we do. They just keep coming, so do you. Um, and so do I, for the right amount of money. Light touch. <clears throat> oh, golly. The place I'm getting my food from is Japanese. I would love for there to be like more variety in the um, the Asian food that we have around here, but Chinese and Chinese and pho is basically what's immediately available. I've never been for like I haven't been for pho in more than ten years, and my my palate has expanded. Ten years ago, I was like, Blech, I don't like that. Chat, I think. You are the luckiest guy in the world. I would love to be dating me. <laughs> God, that is tooting your own horn so hard. Tev, these mugs. You and these mugs. <laughs> something something fucking bowl. Yes. And and now more Zelda Link art. Jeez. <laughs> They are definitely making out there. <laughs> All right. You thought I was done, but you were wrong. I'm not done yet. Yet. 
gotta dig into the sides and fix this up a little bit more. Ah, crud. May as well take a nap real fast. I'm getting super close to finished here. I just I just figured, well, I'm already working on the roof. I may as well finish it up, you know? Finish up the stairs. Something about, uh, something thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? Um, I have a brother-in-law who, like, that's his big joke. He's just like, no, like, it's the fuck king. Like, that should be the name of, the like, somebody's restaurant, and then you make... And their, their specialty is the big fucking bowl. Um, Alright, I can make the stone as needed in my inventory. A crafting table is not necessary for this. I don't know that I'm going to need more past what I've got in my inventory. I made a huge to-do list for today. I just can't figure out who's going to do it. God. Oh, God, Tev. She's, she's insatiable. She doesn't stop. Hey, Tev, if you put in an order for Chinese, you know exactly what I like. So, like, don't, don't, like, hold back or stop or anything. It's entirely okay to, like, be addressing the, 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 the food situation right now. I know that you're hungry. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, stop you or anything, you know? this stone than I thought I did. Gotta go for the stone bricky. come out perfect? Alright, chat. This is looking good. Looking very promising. Oh, there we go. There's a Thai place that I go, uh, that I got, also got food from occasionally. My order is usually chicken fried rice, chicken fried noodles, and fried chicken with sweet and sour sauce. I also get their spicy powder to add to it. Also, their spicy powder is good on other things. Oh, Strife, did you tell Tev about the accent for today? Uh, no. No, 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 I don't, I don't, like, why, why, no. 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 There's no need, no. No, why would I, no! Absolutely not! Would you look at that? Now you got her asking questions. Why are you doing this to me, chat? Uh. 
God, those guys outside really like making noise. Alright, let's sort these fools out. Get my dick dapper out. He was a super mutant for a little bit. <laughs> Is that so embarrassing, Strife? No, but what I am drawing a really good point about here is that it's very easy to mislead people with overblowing your reaction to nothing. You showed a very keen interest whenever I started to act the way I did. My brain has too many tabs open. Oh my god, Tev. Yeah, that's a mug that you need. You don't need a mug with that statement. You need a freaking shirt with that statement. Who the f... Assholes are there. Next accent will be ooh woo conspiracy super <laughs> mutant strife. That's combining too many. I will reject it out of hand. You do you want me to shred my vocal cords? Because that's how you get me to shred my vocal cords. And I like having my vocal cords, so I'll just I'll just straight up be like mm -mm, nope. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so... I need some chiseled stone. There we go. <clears throat> okay, now that that's done, I just need to put a little bit of illumination into the, uh, the tunnel here. So that's one, two, three, and then the fourth block. So even with the stair, fourth block. So one, two, three. looking nice is looking exactly the way like this is as this is as styled as I was hoping it would be so okay then just conspiracy super mutant strife god uh. I'm gonna start removing the torches from this place because now it's time to illuminate it with just lanterns
Am I overdoing it with this many lanterns? Yeah, probably. I don't think that this many is really necessary, but I kind of like having an equal number in there, you know? Oh my god, so many. She just sent me a t-shirt that says world's sluttiest dad. Uh. Chat, what did I do to deserve this type of, of, of treatment today? Looks nicer to have so many. Yes, yes. You get a, you get a better, um, you get a better vibe, you know? I'm not putting another damn lantern down until I see, until all of the torches that I do not want are gone. I also lost all of my music because I ran through the whole, uh, the whole soundtrack. Much better. Okay. Perfect. I think the station is essentially done. Still got to figure out where I'm going to be putting these, like, letter labels, as you as it were. Um, and I've, I, like, I got to figure out the individual platforms and how they're designed. But I'm liking the way that this looks. Like, this has been bothering me for so long because these separate... The, the, the station itself has been so ugly for so long. It's been, like, I've just kind of been like, ah, I'll deal with it later for an age. And that's not, that's not great. It's looking nice. Yes, that is the, that is the intention. That is the intention to get things looking nice. Um, I didn't have anything else to stash, did I? I don't see anything. Okay. Alright, well, chat, you incredibly filthy freaks. Um, you ran a hype train over me and, fl uh, you know, flattened me completely. Then you turned around and, um, you dropped a collective hundo and got yourself another, like, uh, smoldering picture from me. So congratulations to you as a lot on those two fronts, okay? Um, I will say this much. No one dropped an, a complete hundo on me. I'm not certain if I should reprimand you for that or congratulate you or thank you for it. Like, I, I am legitimately confused about which direction that should have gone. Um, <laughs> especially the vibes that you guys were subsisting on today. Um, which is a very important thing to understand. You all seem to just, like, survive on vibes alone. I don't know how, but you do. Um, I don't know what the chances are that you're going to see me playing more Minecraft or if you're going to see me playing Final Fantasy VII on Monday. Because, oh my god, that's a cat paw mug. The, it looks like a paw, you know, and the bottom of it has a cat pr paw print on it. Oh, my God. Tev will not stop. Okay, listen. Chat, you've been wonderful. You've been amazing. Uh, you've been an incredible troll as well. All, uh, all of it at the same time. Um, but it is time for me to go. It is time for me to go. And, oh, hey, I forgot I had a string up on the wall. I like that pair. Anyway. <clears throat> chat, chat, how are you doing? How are you doing? 
are any of you even here anymore? Or have you all just fallen asleep? Because this has been one of, like, my, my music ran out, the lullabies ended, and I guess, like, by that time, you guys are just like... Time to disconnect from that. Still haven't found a freaking cherry biome. Woof. But yes, yes, chat, listen. It has been a wonderful and amazing stream. You guys have been very generous and trollish at the same time. Um, I will see you later. Maybe we'll stream on my channel later tonight. Yes, give uh, give give Tev a, sh uh, a follow, potentially. Um... We might, we might be doing a makeup stream because, uh, like, you know, the week was difficult and stuff. Um, give, uh, give Tevla a follow because if there's another stream tonight, it'll probably be over on her channel. Who the hell knows what we'd end up doing? Um, we have been, do uh, we have been enjoying, um, seven days to die. In, just in the wasteland uh, we've done that uh, twice once on my channel once on uh, our friend Momo's channel so you know there might be Strife wears makeup no 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 wait Doomsday What? where the hell does makeup come from trying to find the Elder Guardian I'm butting to find the Elder Guardian <laughs> guard butt uh, guard butt button god Ugh. makeup stream oh should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. Oh my god. No. No. Um, no No makeup. If you're lucky, I'll just be streaming while wearing my lingerie. You know, just like a nighty and um, and a G-string or something. But, okay. I'm done. I'm done. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm finished making you guys uncomfortable. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You've been a wonderful and a lovely audience. I'm going to go ahead and check out now. Get myself some uh, lunch also grab some groceries and I'll see you potentially later tonight.